Joe allowed us to do in the story is go right back to the genesis, to the origin of Harry's story. When she came to the final dress rehearsal, she was sh shook to the core. She didn't think that she was going to ever feel like that about, about Harry again. Today I have the pleasure of talking to John Tiffany, who's the director of the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, now on at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. John, welcome. Thank you, Margaret. So good to see you again. What makes Harry Potter? How many books are there? Seven. How many films are there? Eight. What made it, in your mind, viable as a theatre production? I didn't know that it was, and that's what excited me. I thought it was such an immense challenge, the idea of putting that world on stage. I truly believe that theatre can do anything and take us anywhere in a story. And I thought, well, maybe you should put that theory, you know, to, to the test properly. And I love the heart of the story, which is about a boy who is learning to deal with the death of his parents. You said something a moment ago, you can do anything in theatre. Yeah. You can't. You can. You can? The film has got green screen and CGI and we've got the audience's imagination. Fantasy, I think, is such an underrated genre. And actually, when you think of the Grimm's Tales, C.S. Lewis and J.K. Rowling, you know, what they do is they, they take fantasy and actually use it to explore human experience in a way that's even deeper than realism. The play starts at the end of the last book. What amount of input did you have to the actual storyline because you worked with Joe Rowling, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I'd first met Joe uh, 20 years earlier. The first job I ever had was at the Traverse Theatre in Edinburgh. And I kept seeing this woman whenever I'd be in the cafe and she would be sitting with a pram and with nursing a cappuccino for three hours. She was writing in longhand. Was she writing Harry Potter? And the Philosopher's Stone. No. But I obviously I didn't know that yet. I thought she was writing a terrible play that she would make me read and I would have to reject. 20 years later, in 2014, Sonia Friedman introduced us over breakfast and she said, I know you. And I said, yes, you do. And I recounted the story and she said, oh, you are one of my protectors. And she kind of, in that moment, I think, this is, this is gonna work. Once the play was written, did you have in your mind how it was going to happen? I had a kind of guiding philosophy, which was, I want this, the aesthetic of this to be things that kids could do at home. So I want to build trains out of suitcases. I want twigs to be able to be wands. I don't want to do something beyond what theatre and the rough magic of theatre is. The title of the play sort of intrigues me, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. The first idea was Harry Potter and the Curious Child, but I, I thought it wasn't quite dark enough for what the story how, how it was evolving, so I suggested Cursed. Um, and Joe jo and Jack both, with their wonderful dark hearts, <laughs> kind of le <laughs> <laughs> leapt on it. It's really basically a story about relationships, isn't yeah. it? It's a story about how do you be a parent, how do you become a parent, how do you become a, a good parent when you've never had a parent yourself? And I think it's, it's exploring that. Whereas the book's explored, how do you grow up to be a whole person when you have to deal with grief from the age of 14 months, which is what Harry was when his parents died. What um, does Joe Rowling think of this? Uh, was there ever a point where you or she or Jack said, oh, this is just not going to quite work? We, ne we, we, always, we always believed it could. And then when she came to the final dress rehearsal, she had a real moment because, of course, you know, she hadn't felt that way about Harry's beginnings since she started writing the book. Something like this I had to put two years full-time work into, and it was worth it. If you're going to do that for any show, it might as well be Harry Potter, you know, knowing that 70% of the audience would be first-time theatre-goers. Fantastic. It's really, really lovely to talk to you, John. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to see you and again. And it's a Margaret. wonderful production. Congratulations. Thank you.